That's me and my best friend Ricky. Right now we're going through the craziest collection we've ever set our eyes upon and guess what? It's gonna be ours. From some of the rarest items that we totally are gonna sell to some of the greatest items that are gonna stay in our collection forever, this video right here has me more excited than I've been in years to be a collector. up at 5 a.m. Left our houses at 5 a.m. It's 5. 7 now. Where are we going? We're going to Santa Barbara to get us some game slots. At Mojimai? So what kind of games do you guys buy? I'm looking at pictures now, so I'll show you two because I don't want to spoil it. Look at this. That's a sealed Batman on the NES. Unreal and Pokemon freaking box. Wow. So we have a lot to go through with him, a lot of surprises. He sent us some pictures, but apparently there's a lot of stuff that we didn't get to look at yet. So we'll show you guys as we go, and it could be huge for the NES collection. So we're at 707 NES games currently, and today is like the perfect day because not only is it gonna be big for building the NES set and getting CIV NES stuff, but also to resell. So it's like the perfect mix of buying stuff, but also making money to help the collection grow. So we get into Motu Mike's and immediately it's a little overwhelming because there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> All right, Ricky, what, 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 what did we just say, Mike? This is Motu Mike, by the way, yep. the one selling all this. So what what is ours? I know we're, we just pulled up to your house. Here, okay. all the way back through the wall. Through the wall. Through the wall. If you go through the wall, there's stuff in the living room. You can grab that too if you want. So oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean, obviously so, we have- Cool way man, so. <laughs> We haven't even poked in here yet, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get looking and we'll get digging and we'll go through it all. Ricky? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was this much, I love it. Well, good thing we brought your truck, for real. <laughs> it's pretty much like this whole section is ours. We basically agreed on a price of just what we're buying out. We're basically buying out everything. So it's like that weird moment of being like, where do we dig first and what do we grab first? All right, Ricky, <laughs> virtual boy. Virtual boy. Let's see. So this is has the Wario, no, the power up. I thought it said Wario Land. The power up, we got the tennis right there. It's empty, but Dun, dun, dun. Their virtual boy is there in its true form. Here, Ricky, let's see. Is this virtual boy with all its parts? I yeah, think there's so. There's even Wario Land and Mario's Tennis. There is the controller, and the plugs are over here, too. Ooh. It came from the third dimension with its own brain, its own voice, its own legs. There's only one problem. He said, he said the big boy NES stuff is in here. So I kind of want to wait for a minute so I don't get, do go too crazy yet. Is he, is he saying toys too? He said toys, I didn't know we were getting toys. He basically said everything from here and out is ours. All right, Ricky wants to see toys. Come on over here, Ben. Let's see, oh, yeah. this, is a, this is a double dipper. Yeah, Got the other end, it. it's heavy. I, I, I keep digging and everywhere I look, I'm excited, there's so much good stuff, but I'm telling you, the NES stuff, knowing it's in there because this is stuff that like Ricky and I can add to the actual collection. That's the stuff I keep thinking about, but I'm trying to hold out because I know that's gonna excite me the most. Well, that Pokemon box and a few others, but I kinda wanna dig under now in those boxes that are, nothing that's in the open. I wanna kinda get in those boxes. Let's go over here to the light a little bit. Oh, oh, oh Ricky almost just dropped the toys, dropped the loot. Ready? What do we got in here? Oh, I thought it was toys. It's Xbox. Oh, but there is toys in here oh. too. Oh, look. Wow. That's just, you know. We got all, a bunch of Motu. So that, oh, a bunch of turtles. We got Metal Mike. Did you see the troll? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, with a headless. There is a lot of it in here. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Lots of toys. So there's a reason they probably call him Motu Mike. So there's a lot of Motu in here as well. Multiple figures. And I mean, I did, he said this was toys, but there's also games in here as well. You have the the keypad underneath it. An Xbox, what the heck are these ones for? It's all mixed, look, there's N64 controllers out of nowhere. What are these ones for, what Ricky? What, let me see, turbo tap. No, these, Ricky. What are these ones for? I'll have to ask Mike. I don't know. 2002 Seawolf Missile, the professional video game? 
I'm not sure. I like this one, Panzer Attack. It's a Tron controller. When you, when you plug it in, lights up. For Xbox 360? For Xbox 360, look at that. Wow, that's actually really cool. I think it's looking. awesome. You see, it's a... Very cool, dude. Very cool. Look at this, Ricky. Game Boy, Game Genie. But if you look, sealed on both ends. So as you can see, we're buying so much stuff. So much of this is gonna be sold and so much of this is gonna be put into our collection. The best way that we've been doing this for a long time, and I'm talking years now at this point, is through Whatnot. If you don't know what that is, Whatnot is a live stream platform where you can buy, sell, and auction literally anything. As a buyer on Whatnot, you can get so many good deals. I've been preaching this for a while now. Thankfully, yes, Whatnot is now a sponsor again because we use it so much. I myself got these super rare Famicom box, extremely uncommon games from Whatnot for literally a really good deal. One of the other cool things as a buyer is you can connect with like different people on YouTube who happen to have whatnot or just people in general within the community. I myself like making friends with random people I've never met before who are selling and you get to hang out with them and build relationships and find some good deals. But I will say, yes as a buyer it's fantastic, but as a seller, you know we're building this giant NES collection and we are buying big collections out, keeping what we want, but then selling stuff and we only do it on whatnot. Sellers, if you're looking to sell honestly, and I speak with full transparency here, we've been selling hardcore every Thursday for around three years now. I've been able to build my collections. It's the best of the both worlds. So for us as a seller, it's huge. Look at this, five stars, 4.5K reviews, 18,000 followers and 17,000 items. It is the most fun way to do this by a long shot. Sellers, I fully recommend. We have a show this Thursday that you have to check out. We're selling great stuff. We'll do a giveaway. We're always selling fun stuff. You know we're at Swap Meets. We're always bringing the unique, the weird, and the rare, and the fun. So make sure and check out this Thursday show. But to be honest, we're, we're there every Thursday. Make sure you use my invite link, which is down below, and also right here on the screen, Pixel Game Squad, of course. And if you're shopping and buying, you can get $15 free credit applied not just to your show, but anywhere on the app. And that goes for any of the categories. It could be like VHS, media, Funko Pops, toys, action figures, comics, storage units, tech, there's a ton. And if you're selling, you can also use my link below and whatnot will match up to $150 worth of sales in your first seven days as a seller. Thank you to whatnot for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. Thank you, thank you for using whatnot for so long. We're so glad to be working with them once again. Thanks whatnot. See you there. Breath of Fire CID. I think this is like a 150 game. This is a great game too, man. That is a great game. Look at the back art on it too. My gosh, I don't think I ever realized that like comic style font right there. Unbelievable. Part three is still the best. Think so? Yeah. the Aladdin I have all of these already so these will be these will be extra but it's just I always love seeing the Aladdin deck enhancer stuff uh, it's just some of the coolest looking art some of those unique stuff it's crazy because there was a guy I think on eBay like years ago who had like a pallet of them and he was just selling them through the years maybe even where these came from and um, it's just I think he's out now so I, I always picture like man it's good for the people who got in on that when that that pallet first was starting to leak, so they're pretty sick, all NES. Get in there, Ben. Come on, Nintendo Tech. What do you see in there? What's he see, Ricky? Ooh, turbo. he turbo. sees Turbo. I didn't even know there was stuff under there. Ooh, let's With go. With the EverDrive. Oh, that Turbo EverDrive. So every Turbo game on there? I'm about to play me some Magical Chase. I've been waiting to play that my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Play it the way I always knew I would have to. Dude, that's sick. The poor man's way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you pull out, Ricky? The PS3? PS3, the God of War edition. Let's go, and then there was what, an Odyssey down there? Od what Odyssey was, this was Odyssey? Beauty and the Beast? No. Uh, what, is, what is this called? I, oh, the older consoles, man. Oh, it's in television, too. I'm always so dumb when it comes to. The it, too. The it, mm. There's just so much. It's so hard to know. I mean, when you look at this broad view, it's kind of like, where's what? But. As you did, what'd you Whoa, find? What's ben? going on here? Whoa, hey, right. dude. <laughs> Why would you have, hey, is this included though? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, N64. N64? Wait, go. isn't this the thing for the game, that game we just talked about? Is that for Pokemon Box? What'd you get? Some PSPs. Oh, look, Darth Vader. Regular, but look. Ooh, God of War. 
You get three different variants and one shot. Beautiful, baby. Ooh. Now these are all tested working, correct? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Just try turning them up. Oh, he's caught. Oh, what? One on. One on. Oh, I don't think it has a battery. That has no oh, battery. Yeah, yeah. Okay. sure, dude. Sweet. Sure. <laughs> Oh wow, dude! One broken. <laughs> oh, two broken. No, I'm just kidding. Swap that battery into the rest of them. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, beautiful. Ooh, la la li. What is it? 3DS. I already turned it on. It works. 3DS. Look how clean this screen is. SP. SP. Look. How clean is that? Ooh, it's it's spicy. One. And then Motu Mike said he already changed those batteries and they work. And by the way, huh? This. Yeah. This? Oh, with box. Oh, with the box. Yes. The box Let's go. Shee. Nintendo 3Ds. Is that's how you say it, right? Nintendo yeah, 3Ds. 3Ds. 3D is nuts. <laughs> oh, let's go. Hey, Ben, get your big butt out of there, bro. Whoa. <laughs> All right, what do we got? I kind of want to. Hey, Ben's putting stuff in his pocket. Let's in here, Let's go in here. I, I promise we'd get into the weird stuff. All right. Let's see. Well, not weird, but just, you know, find our way into the stuff we can't see. So I'm going to take a risk and hope. Oh, wait, there's a little box right here. Let's see what's in here. Might as well. One by one. We got Wii Sports. Oh, the big box for Wii Sports Resort. A lot of PlayStation 3 stuff right here. This is, yep, the PlayStation 3 stuff. I'm not the best with knowing much about PlayStation 3. I'm gonna be honest, that was one of the consoles that I kinda... It came kinda, after the PlayStation 2. No way, it came after the PlayStation it 2? It did, yeah. That's crazy. Honestly, I didn't know that. All right, up next. Oh boy, this box is big. That's what she said. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Dude, wait, that is a huge box. No joke. Ben, is you gotta help him. No, I got it, I got it. Let me show off, bro. Let me just show how strong I am real quick. You when you look at me, don't you think of Arnold Schwarzenegger? I mean, maybe your legs, but that's about it. <laughs> I'll take it. Ooh, this is good stuff. Oh. Ooh, yeah, look oh. at this. Okay, Ricky, let's go, baby. Oh, Cyberpunk. Look at this. Resident Evil GameCube. Hit and Run GameCube. Wind Waker. Double Dash. Metroid Prime. Ooh, baby. Oh. Eternal Darkness. Yes. One of the most interesting GameCube games. They, they mess with your head, man. Did you ever play this? They'd have like screens come up to where back in the day it'd be like, eh, error, glitch screen, please remove disc, not oh, I working. Heard about that. Okay. And so it was obviously to get the people. Look at this. The Zeldas. The Zeldas. All just there. Oni. And you know what? Lately I've been like just loving the way when you look at Wii U stuff. I think their branding was on it, Ricky. Look at the colors. You got the light blues. I love Took the Mirage, Wii U. Minecraft, so Zombie good. U. Ricky, greatest Wii U game. Ready? Want to know? Yep, Nintendo. Everyone's one. gonna laugh. Right there, probably one of the greatest Wii U games of all time. It's so good, especially multiplayer. It really is so good. This is great, look at this. Punch out, NES Remix, most wanted. Tony's game, it's in Japanese. Uh, <laughs> Brawl, Mario Kart Wii, Mario Maker, Zombie U, Monster Hunter, Zelda, Paper Mario, Castle of... Oh, that's on the Wii. Oh. It's empty. <laughs> where, where is it? Then? Pokemon box came out. It's the big box Pokemon box. Ricky. Dude. I didn't, Ben, I didn't know this. Come here. It's the big box version. <laughs> I thought it was the other box. Oh, Whoa. Dang. Holy. That's the real deal. When we agreed on a price, I didn't even know that was the one we were getting. I thought we were getting the other Pokemon box, the smaller. Holy crap, y'all. Wow, dude, I thought this was gonna be the, the, so if people don't know, Pokemon box, there is a regular, like, you know, size like this. And then there's also the big box version. That is the big box, holy. We'd be unused, all the stickers intact. The guy basically opened it, looked at it, put it on the shelf, and left it there. No way. Yeah. Man, I wish that was me. That is minty, minty fresh inside. <laughs> wow, this is the grail. This is like, Grail Grail. You see people do videos on Pokemon Box when they get it like that? This is the big boy with everything in it. Holy mother. Ricky. Yeah, so. I yeah. just found out this stuff on this area is ours too. This is yeah. like his little secret workstation. There's just so much in here. <gasps> so I don't know if our box for Super Mario 2 is even good, Ricky. So this might be. Might be an upgrade. Wow, dude. There's just stuff everywhere. As much as I want to pretend like I can wait much longer. Hold on, this hat is ours too? Oh shoot, the Cappy hat. It's Cappy it? hat, I didn't even realize That's it. a Cappy hat, that's actually sick. Oh wait, this is ours? No lie, Ricky, I need to buy this off you. Brixton literally yesterday asked if we could buy one of these at Target and I said no. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's gonna yeah, be yeah. us. Look at this big Blockbuster sign, what in the world? Right. Holy moly, I didn't realize that was, that's what this was. Ricky. Yeah. 
kind of feel like I want to open up that NES box. Okay, let's go. I, I, I like want to be patient, but I can't. What it's do you hard. Th it's yeah, hard. It's hard, man. It's the game we're in, right? I'll be honest with you, right now, not opening the box is not the only thing that's hard right now. Because <laughs> I, I know. I'm feeling good in this room. We already opened up one box, but it's like a box within a box. Yeah, Ricky is opening up some of Mike's mail that he never, never opened, opened. That he's selling us before. He, look at this. He never even. Dude, if there is another. Dude, I think it, there's, it's wrapped up in a bag now. Oh, what? Are is you in kidding here? me? A box. It went from a box to a box. Maybe to... it's valuable. Are you sure you want to do this? What if it's like very valuable? He, he turduckened this whole thing for you. Okay. That's he sick. turduckened it. That's a great word. What could it be? It's. It's. Final Fantasy. Sealed Final Fantasy. Ooh, sealed oh. Final Fantasy. Echoes of Time. <laughs> let's go. He's like, that's not included. <laughs> <laughs> nice on. Sick. Let's go. It's a I, game. I can't get over Actually, this. All right. So, two more of his boxes that he never opened. What do you got, Ricky? I got. I got Wii U games. I got woo more Nintendo Land and Super Mario 3D World. Kind of I is. got everything: 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 2, and Wii. Wait, 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 wait! I got—I feel cartridges, boys. Oh, oh dude, NES. NES. Yeah, man. Uh oh, oh, dude. Little Samson, Panic Restaurant, <laughs> Curtis's mom. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? We got Mortal Kombat 2, Street Fighter 2, Pac-Man, Double Dragon 2, World Wrestling, and Dragon Warrior. Hey, this feels good, bro. No, nothing, nothing will uh, ever beat cartridges, in my opinion. Ever. I'm more excited about Nothing. the mystery boxes now. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them out! Yeah. Let's go, guys! So this Dreamcast apparently was opened, but never used, never taken out, anything like that? That's what I told, yeah. Wow, nice and clean Dreamcast, Ricky. I mean, just to show you guys this wall before, I am gonna dive into this NES one right now. Dreamcast, Dreamcast, Wii. You got the red Wii right here. Look at this, Commodore 64 in the box, GameCube in the box, Xbox in the box, Nintendo Monopoly, and Odyssey, and something else back there that I can't see yet, which we'll That's look at. I can't tell which one though. Ooh, DS games over here? Look at this, Ricky. What is it? Here you go, some more stuff right there for you. Look at this case, by the way. I think you like this game. Look at this case. Banjo. I have that. That's so cool. really cool. That's so cool. So we open this box, and it's like the greatest box I've ever opened. We're going straight for that NES box, bro. Ooh, let's do it. I, my, my patience is done. And there's so much good stuff to look at, y'all. Like, we're not even close. Ricky. Yeah. Holy moly. Dude, I like the case, <laughs> period. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Just I thought I was like, bring it over. Equipment. Oh, gosh. Is right. this full? Let's go out here by the light a little bit better. Uh, Mike, what's the bottom, what's the top? This is the, that's the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> who's bottom, who's top? Yeah. Dude, that's so funny, Ricky's that bottom. That was good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got me. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, Ben, ready? Yes. Come over here. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Oh, gosh, Whoa, Ben. Oh, look at that. <sighs> look at this. Ooh. I can tell you right now, we do not have Princess Tomato. Not even loose. Not even loose. Oh, my gosh, Ricky, look at it. Oh, dude, that's clean. The, so the cool thing about this is Ricky and I have probably a good majority of these games. We'll have to look at the end, but I would say 60% of them probably don't have boxes for Ricky and I. So this is a perfect way for us to just upgrade all of our stuff, bro. Look Ooh. at these two, bro. Sealed. Sealed Batman Return of the Joker, not just an amazing game. It's Sunsoft, it's freaking Batman, but it's valuable. This one too conquers. This was like the most like wanted thing within like the collecting world, maybe like six years ago on Dude, YouTube. The it was most. like conquers. Everybody wants conquers. So it's just so cool to have it right here. I always this think the, mon the monster's gonna be in here. Yeah, so the monster in my pocket, we've talked about it before really hard to find it with um, the monster inside, which funny enough, a buddy of ours named Badback, he actually has one of the monsters for us, so we can actually complete that. Oh my God. Do we have Crystallis CAD? Oh, probably not. It's pretty. Probably not, we probably don't. Look at this, Bento. Yo, is that sealed? Nope. Oh. Street Fighter 2010, Xevious, Robocop, Ghosts and Goblins. Ooh. Oh my gosh, and y'all need the soundtrack for this song, Werewolf, by the way. Listen to the sound. This feels thick. It feels nice and girthy. Dude, look at all these black box games. Dude, all of them. You want to know Popeye. what's crazy? Mario you know Bros. what's not in here? What? I cannot believe it. We have 707 NES games. Guess what game we don't have? Loose Balloon Fight. 
<laughs> we literally don't have a balloon fight. It just hasn't come our way. This is crazy. It's just the most colorful. It's why I love NES box art. It's colorful, it's bright, it's beautiful. It is so much heat in this box. One of the goats for me right there. Scott or D. Scott or D. I like that. I like that. Scott or D. Gosh. No. 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 That's awesome. I would have loved that for camera. And then this is minty, minty boxes for these consoles. Yo, this is a pricey one. That is, yeah. And then is this in here? No, that's again, this box. That's okay. We actually can come up. Yeah, pretty easy to complete this too if you want. Dude, that is freaking rad. We even like pay attention to the. Other games right here. Yoshi Story, Perfect Dark, 007, and Star Fox. Dude, the attitude is great. I have that loose, so. Another SMB2. Actually, I think I have this loose. That was SMB2. That is cool. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Let's go. Let's absolutely go. Just so many of these now can get Ricky and I to complete CIB, complete in box, if you don't know, to complete so many of our NES games. This is beautiful. Some of the titles in here, like Princess Tomato, Shatterhand, and even the N64 games. This is one of those moments that I'm not gonna forget on the show because these are these moments that like you feel like you couldn't have made happen if you want to. These things you never know. Holy crap, I'm so over the moon right now. Dear Lord! The oh, heck? some powers! We're back in Nintendo Power! Yes! Ricky and I love our Nintendo Powers. Ooh, this one has a good poster if it's in there. This one? Yep. All right, if call that, it right now. If that poster's in there, I promise you right now it's a good poster. I already know it is. I say it's in there. It's in there. Good poster. Wait. Watch. Mark my word. I already know. Ba -ba -ba -bum, bum, bum, bum. I know my Nintendo Power posters. That is correct. That is correct. <laughs> Anyone know what that's from? I do not. That's Chris Farley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, forgot. I, know, I forgot. Don't act like you knew, bro. Maybe. That is correct. Food don't color on my papers. Like. We got the different variants. Oh, <laughs> Look, Ricky. Ricky has one eye. One. These are the Toys R Us Game Boy Advances. This one obviously has the camera in it. So. Look at that shot. Just like, look how cool That's that was. so cool. We could play together, Ricky. We could pretend to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I haven't checked the other games yet. I just know off the back of my head that Princess Tomato and the Salad Kingdom was in there. So I'm gonna mark that one off. Putting us at 708 NES games in the set. What was in there? Manuals, more, more stuff manuals, like that. more Nintendo Power Ooh, those stuff. Those are cool, the game atlases are look sick. Ooh, yes, all manuals. manuals, look, all manuals. Ricky, your wife Manual. realizes that this will probably take us the rest of the evening. Oh, she has too, no right? idea. I mean, well, let her know now. It's more of a surprise now. And then Ben had a box right here with, Ooh, oh, yes. look at this, dinosaurs. Yo! That's actually amazing. Oh, what are those? Jay and Silent Bob figures, that's awesome. Wow. Ricky, what'd you just, I heard oh, no, Ricky, no, no. Ricky I was hoping it was a mystery box. I think these are actually batteries. Look at this, Ricky. Biker mice from Mars. Yes. Actually rad. So before I, I move on from this shelf, I, hello, Mike. Oh, oh don't fall. Oh. Don't, don't die. There's a ton of Atari stuff down here. More Atari here. Looks like a Captain Crunch, Cinnamon Toast Crunch thing. PSP box, more Game Boys. More of this, this is an unreal, amazing Master of the Universe. Game Boy DMG in the box. In there? But before I move from this shelf, I'll just show you more Indiana Jones stuff up here, turtle stuff right here, and then the other stuff you saw. And I think there's some goodies in here, y'all. What's down here, Ricky? All right, you got some Persona, Sealed Sly. Sealed Sly 2. Oh, Gravity, Gravity Rush. Gravity Rush, yep. Sealed, all sealed. Katamari Forever, Splatterhouse Sealed. Ooh, Splatterhouse Sealed. That's a good one, Ricky. All right. I can tell you that right now. Hold on, hold on. Oh dear, that's a lot of PS4 games. The Town of good Light, games, never though. heard of that one. Eva Valkyrie, Awesome Nuts, Let's see. Red Rain Tales. Wow. That, this is a great game. Sekiro, Sekiro. Amazing. Wait, wait, Switching. what's that? I can't Ooh, tell. Oh, wow, dude, Senran and Kagura. PS Vita? What, the... what are you just throwing? What is that? Let's he just see threw it. something at you. It's a new, co ooh, oh. let's go. That's a Game Gear. That's a Game Gear, 
Oh, That's the Game Gear XL, though. It's a good Game Gear. Dude, look at all this, too. What is even in here? Is this more Wii? Oh my gosh, this, this stuff just doesn't end. It almost feels impossible to go through it all. Look You're at that stuff, too. Bro, we need a Famicom. This has to go on the NES Pursuit shelf. Absolutely has to go on the shelf. What you got back there? <gasps> I've been kind of itching for Famicom stuff, to be honest. Pac-Land? Oh, dude, I love it. I love it so much. You said that's not included, though. He doesn't know about it. He's right there. That's a Stormtrooper. Oh. We're about to pull open another box, and before we do, Mike's like, hey, you might want to film this box, too. There's some good stuff in there. What is it? Uh, oh, boy. Okay. I just got a piece. Look at that. Oh, four swords. <laughs> Big box, Four Swords Adventures. Tournament oh. fighters! Intergalactic planetary! Actually, my Zen is in kind of bad condition, so this is great. This day, even Ben walked by earlier, and he's like, you can't stop smiling. And it's because it's one of those days where not only are you having fun, right? You're digging through endless amounts of stuff you love, right? Nostalgic video games, toys, all this. It couldn't be more fun. But on top of it, you're buying stuff that you get to resell to build the other stuff that you're buying. And I'm just seeing upgrades. Is Gargoyles in here too? Dude. No, it's Case, Case, Case. <sighs> Ninja you got Kid. Fi Ooh. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. Woo! In the box. Team NT3. Jeez. Go pull that out. I'm just, I gotta pull everything else out first. There you turducken. Look at this. Ooh. Dude. Quit sucking on my turducken. Oh, dang. Ooh, look at this, Chibi man. Robo, whoa, whoa, Soul whoa, Silver whoa, version, Heart Soul. I want to see this. What? Jeez. Oh my goodness gracious, hot balls of Mexican mamacitas. Wait. This is a big wow. one. DuckTales 2. Oh, another Joker. Metroid. Dude. Castlevania. Castlevania. Zelda. Pokemon. The whites, the black. Never in the browns, though, you know? <laughs> Sorry, Ricky. Your family got waxed, dude. It's all good, man. <laughs> Let's see what other NESs in there. I like Ben, just straight to NES. <laughs> ben, I'll cut you a heel, dog. Whoa. Two meters sealed. With those two Ooh, is this the manual? <laughs> manual for Blues Bros. I just got this. Whoa. That's a good one, actually. That manual is actually valuable, too. Do we have Rocky and Bullwinkle? I don't know. Rocky and Bullwinkle? Dude, these are clean. Whoa. That's a good one, too. Ooh, Spider Man. You needed that one. I do need this one. We, we just got this balloon one. Balloon fight! Captain Planet. Planet. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How do we not have a balloon fight? Dude, this Ooh. is wild, bro, Seth. Woohoo, look at this! I just finished my NES set. Yay! <laughs> dude, all the Zeldas for the wow. N64. Oh my That's gosh, dude. We gotta organize this. Look at this is not We're safe. It's, look it's at this, Ben. Like, ben, this is not safe. It's already organized here. We're just right, unorganizing guys. it. <laughs> no, <laughs> come back. Oh God. We need you, please. Oh my gosh, dude. We need to organize. We are not. Be he had it all nice what and clean. What are the odds those are left bros? Uh, which one? Two, two. Let's see. Two Grab chances. Em. Two chances. Not a left bro. Left, left bro. Let's go. Left for those of you who don't know. Left bros. It's more valuable. Let's just cut to the chase. So there you go. Which means the bros is on the left side versus the right. So many good games. Stuff like that. It's games I have, but it's upgrading. It's upgrading. It's completing. It's adding manuals. It's just building everything I love. This couldn't be the more perfect ideal day of collecting. It doesn't get better than this. Again, not going through it one by one yet, but Ben did point it out that we needed Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Six, putting us at 709 NES games on the set. I was just, Ricky, I was just about to open a box and I yeah. accidentally peeked it open. I'm like, oh, Ricky will want to see this box. Oh my God. Fire Red, baby. Fire Red, it's so oh, good. I saw the box for Mutant Virus. I was just talking about how I bought this loose from Ben. I have it, maybe possibly CIB or with box right there. Ricky, Lee Trevino's fighting oh, golf. Dude. <laughs> That's like an $8 game. We used to have a joke about this on the channel. We, we, we pretend to punch each other while putting. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Nothing like having anticipation in the box, but that fire red box right there, Ricky. Ding. So good. That's a spicy meatball. That's a very bro. spicy meatball. <sighs> you know, in the words of Frank Sinatra, Michael Bublé, feeling good 
I don't know who's. Then I'm who feeling good. Probably some. Ricky, was it um, Luis Garavaldi? What is his name, the Mexican guy? Luis Gabriel. Oh, Luis Gabriel? You hear how he said it? You heard that. I got some good ones over here. House of Dead 2, Mr. Driller, Third Strike. Are you Dreamcast. About Dreamcast? Yeah. Oh. Fantasy Star Online, Godzilla Generations, ooh, Capcom Zero 03. Jeez. There's also this Radiant and Story right there. CIB. How radiant is it though? What are you looking at over there? Uh, I'm getting some consoles, some some GameCubes, Wii's, Wii U's, Dreamcast. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Like it went from us like being like, let's get fun and film to being like, okay, we got work to do. We literally have to, we, I think we're gonna have to throw stuff on top of the truck. Honestly, and we're talking Ben, right? Yeah, I told him. <laughs> PS1 sampled this with a PS1 with a screen, the LCD screen. Look at these. And it's actually good. Look at this. What? This is all Sega Saturn imports, but tons of Sega Saturn imports. And then also Dreamcast imports. Ricky, why don't you come and read these for me? <laughs> hey, can somebody give Tony a quick call? That's crazy! Dude, look at how crazy this Odyssey box is. It's it's awesome. And you got this is just for the volleyball game, but look at this box. How pretty is that? It, it's it's awesome. I got this one open it up. Well, I, I got me, Ricky. Is this while you open that up? Is oh, the, the shooting rifle. gallery rifle? You know, they don't make them like they used to. They made it look like the real deal. What's in here, Ricky? Poker Ooh. chips. <laughs> oh, wait, what the, why is there poker chips? Is that part of it? I, what I, the, I, I think so. I didn't know that. Maybe there's a poker game? You, you gambled as a kid back then. I, I only played peekaboo poker. Awesome. I want to be Ricky's baby. <laughs> Dang, and then look at this over here. I didn't even like get to show these yet because we've been just blazing through all this. There's a lot of great 3DS title, titles in here. Paper Mario, Wario, Castlevania, Lords of Shadows, Fire Emblem, Mario Luigi, Bowser's, Zelda, Pokemon Y, Resident Evil, Final Fantasy IV, Dead or Alive, Rakugan, or Bakugan, wow, did I say Rakugan like a friggin' idiot? Lunar Knights, Kirby's Mass Attack, did you say Rakugan? Shut up. <laughs> Ricky! So I'm looking at a lot of the Atari stuff and I didn't even see these down here, and I just love the way they look. All this Odyssey stuff in the box just looks so nice, and they're all really clean. Wow, Casey Munchkin, that's actually one of the more popular games. Basically like a, a Pac-Man style game. Blockout, Thunderball, Alien Invaders, just super cool boxes on these. What a unique box style that you don't see, especially how they flap open like that. That's just, that's rad. Ooh, the Atari 5200 too, just sitting right here, the big boy, the big beast, that is a, beast of a, a console. I didn't even mention the links over here, just right there. Such a great console. Ooh, good game right there too, as well. Ricky's over there. What are you doing over there, Ricky? I'm putting the, the Virtual Boy in the box. Oh, packing. Packing. And Ben's over here trying to make room too for everything. Ricky's truck is not holding up as much stuff as we know. Check out these beautiful posters that Mike, they were like in a blinds bag, but look at this. Like it was like in a box for uh, shutter blinds. But first you have the beautiful Legend of Zelda poster. Nice and clean and beautiful, which I like, but I'm not gonna lie, this other one is awesome. You can tell it's OG. It is falling apart to a crisp. I mean, I'm almost scared to fully open it. Just a totally used and loved and wonderful E.T., the extraterrestrial, beautiful. Also, this is the current state of Ricky's vehicle right now. We are trying to organize what left will fit in this space, and then we're gonna try to even get some stuff up here and see what we can strap down if we can get them in boxes good enough. So, but again, we are about two and a half hours on the way home, maybe even longer on the way home to get everything in here, so we'll have to see. Time for a burrito break for a moment while we think. Ricky, we were gonna offer him like, what did we say, like 60 bucks? I think we're gonna offer him a loop. 60 bucks. This isn't bucks. soda, is it? It's 
Nope, it's water. You swear this doesn't count as soda? Nope. It's, it's got zero water. sugar, zero Over a calories. year clean. If you guys are pranking me, I'll... I haven't had soda in a very long time, and I drink sparkling water all the time. Cero azúcar. What'd you just say? That's racist to Ricky's people, dude. It's really nice. Ricky, how you feeling? Fantastic. Did, did we even show them what we got? Oh, we I mean we showed them plenty. Oh, that stuff? Oh yeah, yeah. Show show them what uh Mike so, just Mike just gifted us stuff. And so, he was straight up like, hey, I know you guys drove here and everything. Use this stuff to sell to uh to get your money back so, for driving. So check this out. This is the Game Boy SP Onyx. Onyx, bro. How cool is that? I was dude, I was like shaking when we got this show one. Show them the other thing. Alright, so what PlayStation TV, John? but who does this? Like what? What's this? I'm like, it's complete. It's all in there. Look, here. Just to prove, just- Don't just, drop it, Ricky. Just to prove. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Wow. That's honestly amazing. <gasps> Man, Crazy. Know, Ricky. We've never owned this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I owned it once. Oh, you did own it. And I sold it to buy, you know why we're gonna need to sell this? Cause he literally said that's what it's for. You know, this will turn into, but I'd say probably like bonks, adventure, Maybe partial Samson. Bonks or, yeah, Samson or Panic Restaurant. Samsonite. I was, I was way off. off. <laughs> Look at Ricky, check this out. The Magnavox Odyssey 4000 in the box. Like this is wild to me that a console is promoting like sports as their thing. Like right when games first started, like that's what they were promoting. promoting. Like nowadays you would never see like a company launch like PlayStation day one and they put out, you know, Madden on the cover. What a bad mistake that would be. Look at this, the home <laughs> TV programmer, Studio Two. What the Johnson is this? Ooh. I love that kind of stuff. It's just so freaking weird. Gosh, I love it. Oh look, that looks awesome. That is just, you just turn the dial and play what you want to play. Ricky, the only problem is you have to have friends to play these. Oh. So Curtis can't play these. <laughs> out of nowhere, Mike pulls out a power glove, and it's a clean power glove. We have to strap some of the stuff literally on top of the vehicle. So we got strapped, but Ricky found one more item. Oh, Mike busted out one more item for us. What could it be now? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, let's go! It's beautiful! You want to tell Mike? Whoa. What? What's special about this one? So this came out of the collection that that guy had of stuff that he said he never opened. Okay. He got this when he was a kid. Okay. All right. It's an adult size. He opened it and he said he never took it out of the box. I didn't want to get out of this bag. That is a clean, clean, bro. Oh, yeah. Look at the freaking power glove with the beautiful, just love put into it. The power glove may with be the one of the greatest looking things ever. That art. Careful, Ricky. Closer to. Now you're playing with power. Ooh. It's so cool to see it in such good shape with all of like the parts and the pieces because a lot of times when you get them CIB, it's missing so many of the random things that come with it, which is like the posters or the inserts. So this CIB power glove is a true CIB power glove. And it's. It's pretty crazy to me that days like this happen. The all-encompassing days of kind of the epitome of perfect what I wanted when I started doing this again. But here we are doing it. And I'm kind of quieter, not only because I just ran eight miles, but 
it's the end of the day and I'm kind of letting this all sink in. I haven't seen which of these yet I even need in the set. I'm gonna find out right now in a minute, but it's just wild to me where this video led us. And I should point out, because people have mentioned in some bargains and some deals we do, we don't always mention price. And just being honest, not everybody wants price mentioned in their deals and what they do online. Some people don't even want to be online or have their faces recorded. So Motu Mike was obviously different in this situation, but price isn't always something we're going to mention. But with all that said, now to the fun part. Let me see if we actually need any of these to add to the count or if I'm just going to be doing CIB upgrades to most of these games. Almost all of these I need CIB upgrades for. I know I have Monster in my pocket. I know I have Shatterhand CIB, Battletoad CIB, Akari Warriors 3 CIB, but pretty much the rest of these are going to be CIB upgrades. So looking through that entire box, there was only two in there that we didn't have at all. Like I said earlier, keep in mind, we're CI being our loose games, completing them in box. The loose games, 98% of those, only a few of them we had in the box, but two, two of them we completely needed. So the first one was the Magic of Scheherazade, which is crazy because I could have sworn I'm almost 99 point, I'm 100% positive we've got it at some point. We must have lost it. And then the original Popeye, one of my favorite games. By the way, this box is mint. Everything inside is perfect condition. If you haven't played Popeye, I firmly believe this is a much better game than Donkey Kong. It's a far superior game, in my opinion. It's more fun, it's more unique, it's less talked about, it's still popular. It's Popeye and it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? And those games right there put us at a total of 711 unique NES games in our NES Pursuit set. So I just have to give a massive shout out to my NES Pursuit wall, which has grown immensely since the last time y'all saw it. We added more shelves here, more shelves down here, more shelves down here, because we have it fully alphabetized now, over 700 video games, as you can see, just alphabetized. Wonderful, beautiful, it feels so good. Some of them are kind of loose because I left a little extra space um, for when we add more. I'm not like struggling to shove in games or have to reshuffle all of it completely. But as you can see, it's just looking amazing. Hello, y'all. More over here. There's the Aladdin that I've already had. More over here, more over here, more over here. And all the way down there to our CIB Zombie Nation. This wall has me so, so, so happy, y'all. <laughs>